Should the winner of tonight's Titanic Giants Eagles game be the favorites in the rancid, putrid, ignominious NFC East? All right, another river of sewage. I will not talk about this. Not since Jets Broncos on Thursday night football have we had such a terrible game. But look it's at Mina. Game. She's just That's dying to talk game. football. Pablo, you don't want to talk about this. No, Go ahead, Mina. God, Pablo, no. Pablo, you don't want to talk about this. First of all, Jets Broncos was an amazing game and this could be an even better one yes i know i just compared the nfc east to gas station food but i will be downing that <laughs> lukewarm pizza tonight and enjoying every second of it there is so much to watch for on the eagles side carson wentz has actually been playing better travis fulgham undrafted travis fulgham is looking like the surprise of 2020 along with chase claypool he's been fed i don't yeah, I, I don't care. I'm going to keep going. Uh, the Eagles defensive line, one of the best in the NFL. Third best is stopping the run by our metrics. Top 10 pass rushing unit by just about any measure. And meanwhile, on the other side of the football, yes, Daniel Jones turns the ball over a lot. But Darius Slayton, electric. And that Giants defense has actually been surprisingly feisty this year. Leonard Williams has been playing well. James Bradbury is looking like the steal of free agency. I mean, guys. The playoff implications for this game are enormous! Enormous! I, is Pablo asleep? Are you? Did you literally just fall asleep while I was talking? This granola's been here for eight months. Coming up next on my 